Hello, Hello world. world! I'm Shanti. And I'm Stan. And today we're going to talk about something that's very, very important to us and a lot of other. It's Pokemon Go! Obviously, it's Pokemon Go! Everyone's been playing it! You already knew that! It's the biggest game or app right now. It's bigger than Tinder. Okay. It's like 30 million downloads already. Yeah. It's only out officially in New Zealand, Australia, and the US. So that's a crazy amount of downloads so far, just for those three counters. Even though you're not in those countries, you can still download it, kind of off the charts. Yeah, we won't go into how because there are a thousand of different guides out there, so just use Google, please. Here's some of our best tricks to become the very best. One nifty little tip for those extra experience points is trying to get a good, great or an excellent catch on a Pokemon. And you do this by throwing the ball in the circle. The smaller the circle is, the more experience points you get. If you have the biggest circle and hit it in the middle, you will get a nice throw. If it's even smaller, it's a great and then an excellent. And they are worth 10, 50 and 100 EXP. And they quickly add up. It's like a free Pokestop if you throw a great. So try to go for those and all those Rattatas. Another good tip is that you don't evolve your Pokemon straight away. You save up as many as possible and use one of the lucky eggs that you get while you're leveling up. Lucky eggs give you double the experience points. And for every evolution, you get a 500 XP. And if you evolve a new Pokemon that you haven't seen, you get another 500 XP. So if you're lucky, you can get 2000 experience points for one evolution. One guy on the Pokemon Go Reddit calculated that you could evolve 73 Pokemons in 30 minutes. Save those Evos for when you can pop a lucky egg. Every 21 hours, you can go into the shop and claim Pokecoins for every gym you own. Pokecoins, they are used to buy some boosts in the game, like lucky eggs or modelers that will attract Pokemons to certain Pokestops. You get 10 Pokecoins for every gym you currently have, so go get those gyms and claim them fast because they don't last very long. You can only get 100 coins, so aim for 10 gyms, or slightly below that if you don't have a big area to go through. And can do it every 21 hours, so... Get those coins. We also got Stardust. And Stardust is used for powering up Pokemon. One of the biggest Debates is how the tracking works, and there's a lot of theories, but there's two particular ones we like. We usually go after these two ones and they work out for us. But this is just pure speculation, so take it with a grain of salt. If you have another method that works for you, use that. To track a Pokemon, you need to have it in your nearby screen, and it can have three to zero footprints below it. There's one popular method flourishing around. First, you pick a target Pokemon, and then you start walking one way. And you start walking until the footsteps go up. So if you're on three, you're going to go until it disappears. If you're on two, you're going to go until it twitches to three. Then you turn 180 degrees and go back until it happens again. From there, you go to the middle point of those two points. And you go first up and check if you're again getting closer and then down. Because if you are on those tangents, you're going to hit the middle of the circle. That's where the Pokemon is. This, of course, is a lot easier if you're playing with a few friends. If you're playing with a couple of friends, you can as a team split up and go different directions and reduce the time in half and then find a rare Pokemon. Remember that you all need to click it at the same time, otherwise it might disappear for the other players and no one wants that. Now, if it's really rare, it will despawn after a couple of seconds when the first player clicks it. Also, when you're playing with friends, it's really important that you communicate. If you see a Pokemon on the map, it's on the same spot for the others. So if they're not in the exact vicinity, you can just point them towards the direction and they will get it faster. So that was some of our favorite tips and tricks for playing Pokemon Go. We'll probably post more about this in the future because it's basically what we do all day long. Right yeah, now. <laughs> we've been playing some days for 12 hours and I know a lot of you have too. Uh, so keep on playing. Just keep on oh, playing. I, I got a few tips. Comfortable shoes, band-aids, water bottle, and a power bank. And a friend. Or two. Or two. Bring us. Bring us. We're perfect Pokemon hunters. Yeah. You plane our plane tickets and hotels and we'll be there with you. I'm Stan. And I'm Shanti. And we're hoping to see you again. Again. <laughs> Bye. Bye. We want you to be the very best. So don't forget to subscribe. And hit that like it button. It would mean a lot to us. Thumbs up! <laughs> I, I guess. <laughs>